Today I'm going to show you how to make a brick facade wall out of the polystyrene. There are so many different methods of doing it. I've gone online and seen tutorials for making elaborate ones and using thick polystyrene. Problem with using the thick stuff is it's expensive. I've looked it up on at Home Depot. It's around four foot by eight foot sheets run and about I think an inch thick runs roughly about $25-$30 so that's way out of my budget so then I thought let's try it with the thinner polystyrene so here's what I'm using got it at Home Depot it is 14 and a half inches wide by 48 inches long and 3 quarter inches thick it's fairly thin but it'll be very usable for what I need what I did was I cut 14 inches wide and 8 feet eight inches deep of for a brick. So this is basically the size of my stone brick that I'm going to make and I was able to get six out of each sheet. The great news is the cost of these panels, six panels come in a pack at about seven dollars, maybe eight dollars in that range. So it's very inexpensive. I'm able to get a four foot by actually an eight foot by eight foot wall with the doorway uh, pointed doorway in the center of it out of two packs so that's 12 sheets that's pretty decent I will show you step by step how I'm doing this and let's start off with the first brick of how I edge the edges with an exacto knife blade here I'm going to start off with an exacto knife and I'm using the long blade as a kit I got that was around I think fourteen seventeen dollars multiple blades in it and it's very handy but the long thin blade is the best I've found for using for this and what I'm going to do is cut an edge in it where I'll cut an edge around the whole thing to give it more of a brick look now, obviously dealing with any kind of razor blade you want to be extra careful that you don't cut yourself so you want to keep your hands away from it what I do is just go into it easily and start cutting down almost like a saw blade motion Here I'll cut a chunk out of it and you can see the edge that I'm giving it to give it more of a brick look. And now here is a finished one so you can kind of see the edges on it going all around the whole thing to kind of give the illusion of being a brick. Then from there what I do is I grab a regular razor knife a tra retractable one and I found that what you want to do is you want to take the side of the blade and actually rub against it now this is very messy so you want to do it in a contained spot like right now I'm in my basement where it's pretty contained on my work table that I can clean the mess up and what you want to do is just carefully rub it down put pressure on the styrofoam and just press against it and what that's doing is giving it a broken up look which gives it a little bit of this kind of look and what this is is an actual piece of brick and you can see the little stubbleness all around it but it's also multicolored with the different stones in there and so it's not so smooth edge which doesn't look like a brick it looks artificial but when you do this and you just push it lightly and if it's not breaking it away then you push a little harder but if you push too hard you're going to wind up busting it and breaking it because you got thin edges but you do this on the whole thing and then this is what a finished result looks like basically right here then from there there's different methods of using to texture the front of the brick one method I've seen online they use acetone where they put it in a bottle and spray it on and they keep spraying until it starts eating away because acetone will eat away at polystyrene but it takes a while to do it and you gotta use acetone another way which is the way I'm going to be using is using a blowtorch and obviously you want to be very careful when you're dealing with a blowtorch but when you put this down on a concrete floor you take the blowtorch and you just start hitting it lightly until and you want to keep it away from it a little bit 
and move it in closer and I'll show you how that's done until it starts actually giving texture, breaking away the polystyrene to give it a textured look a little bit like this and it curves it in a little bit and gives it waves and it makes it look like a brick stone texture to it. But again, you want to be very careful and you don't want to get too close because then you'll just burn a hole right through the brick. Now here goes the brick on concrete floor in the basement and a blowtorch. Uh, you want to be extra careful when you deal with torches or anything of that sort fire. Uh, here's what it basically looks like when it gets textured. And as you can see, it doesn't take a lot. What it does is it basically gives it waves and it where it's got some waves in it and textured front so it looks more like a brick so now you got something that resembles a brick now here's the difference between a plain polystyrene brick that hasn't had any texture put to the sides or edges this is a plain one, and then this is one that has been textured. So you can see the difference in the look of it, where you can see the texture on the edges, the bevels, and then the front of it where it's got waves and texture all through it, and it's still a thin brick. There's a partially finished top half of the wall. As you can see, this is a piece, it's like a, almost a puzzle that you put together. This is the back, which is thin plywood that's four by eight sheets that run about, it's called Lawan. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot at Lowe's for roughly about ten, eleven dollars a sheet. So it's fairly inexpensive. And then I use fern stripping going across to give it strength. But this is what it looks like upside down. This is the top half of my wall which is eight feet long and this is the top half of the eight feet high. That's the top of the doorway right here. And then this sheet here is one of the pieces that once you put it on like so and hold it steady and it's like a puzzle and it just because they're bricks you're able to piece it together like this and this is roughly what it looks like upside down and then of course I will add two more smaller pieces that are about a foot and a half two feet wide, tall and as wide as this wall from the door to the end and then I will hit it with paint and give it a silver look so it looks like Silver City for what's called in the script. And that's basically this partial stage. The next stage will be the finished product which I'll show what it looks like when it's leaning against my garage door with the garage door open from the outside so that way I'll have the garage dark and you'll see nothing but darkness inside the doorway but on the outside you'll have eight feet by eight feet of a wall with a door in the middle to work with that looks like stone brick. This is the finished product, but it's not painted yet, and it's also not attached to the fern strip. And when I actually shoot this, this is going to be lifted up higher on the fern strip, and where the actor is going to be in the doorway here will actually be standing where the camera is going to shoot him from his knees on up. So I never did the bottom part of this because I'm never going to show it. This is roughly what it looks like, and this is how easy it is to take apart. Top section, and another section there, and another section, and then a final section at the bottom. See, it's fur stripping with fur, it's thin plywood, the one with fern stripping on it. And these are the fern stripping that's going to be attached, where the tough part will actually be attached to the top of this here. That way, you'll be actually able to stand in the doorway. And this was actually attached, the bricks, foam bricks were attached with hot glue, vinyl hot glue. And again, same thing. Very easy to take apart, very lightweight. Stored, so.
angel of God, and this is the land of Oz.